I have been teaching in a his, at a historical black college and at the University of Memphis, and I saw Brian's story emblematic of injustices that were happening in the neighborhoods and the kids that I cared about. Yeah. And uh, their stories broke my heart, and, and Brian's as well. And I thought if we could tell Brian's story, that maybe their lives would be improved by Brian shedding some light on what is happening in the criminal justice system. When you know a kid in jail that is in jail wrongly, unjustly, wasn't given their due, it breaks your heart. It, it, you can't not do something. You can't not pick up the phone. And I'm hoping that when they fall in love with Brian, when America and the world falls in love with Brian, that people pick up the phone, they pick up their, their, their cell, they, they text, they tweet, they do research, they start a conversation. And because it really all starts with caring, with getting close to an issue, with getting close to a person that represents an injustice, and then doing something about it. And then the guy's so inspiring. Brian is one of the most inspirational figures I've ever met. I, my life has been about surrounding myself by people that can pull me up out of whatever darkness I'm going through. So I read the mystics and the saints and the sages, and they always see a light in places we don't see a light. And Brian saw a light in a place that none of us see a light, in a very dark place. And, uh, and that, that to me is a, is a metaphor to how to move through life. First day on a mo the movie set, it felt like home. And uh, fortunately, of course, I had a, a great group with me and Brian was on the set every day. But uh, you know, there's that place deep inside that we all know when we're doing the thing we're supposed to be doing and I'm, I'm supposed to be doing this.